President Lincoln issues a public declaration that an insurrection exists and calls for 75,000 militias to stop the rebellion. As a result of this call for volunteers, four additional southern states secede from the Union in the following weeks. Lincoln will respond on May 3 with an additional call for 43,000 volunteers to serve for three years, expanding the size of the regular army. During the early modern period, the universities of Europe would see a tremendous amount of growth, productivity, and innovative research. At the end of the Middle Ages, about 400 years after the first European university was founded, there were 29 universities spread throughout Europe. Beauty contests, whether it's Miss Universe or Miss Teen International, are demeaning to women and out of sync with the times. Opponents say that they are nothing more than symbols of decline. Since Australians Jennifer Hawkins and Lauren Eagle were crowned Miss Universe and Miss Teen International respectively, there has been a dramatic increase in interest in beauty pageants in this country.
Trump has threatened to declare China, a currency manipulator, but experts say he has a little legal or economic basis to take such a step. He has also threatened to impose a tariff of up to 45% on Chinese imports if Beijing doesn't behave a move that could lead to a trade war and damage the economies of both nations. A lack of imagination on the part of the writer, the director and the actors results in slapstick comedy and innuendos in dialogues. The steering is light and precise, the pedals are equally effortless and the six-speed gearbox slots slickly from one gear to the next. Today's shifting is nearly effortless thanks to specific spring-loaded mechanisms coaxing the chain from one gear to the next. Homelands are revising their opinions of their diasporas as the stigma attached to emigration declines, and stepping up their engagement efforts. Meanwhile, host countries are witnessing more assertive diasporic groups within their own national communities, worrying about fifth columns and foreign lobbies, and suffering outbreaks of diasporaphobia.
We cannot hold 10,000 words in our short-term memory. We cannot see ultraviolet light. We cannot mentally rotate an object in the fourth dimension. And perhaps we cannot solve conundrums like free will and sentience. Humans do ask themselves these and many other kinds of questions, questions that have no relevance, indeed make little sense, in the context of evolved needs and goals. What marks out humans is our capacity to go beyond our naturally defined goals such as the need to find food, shelter or a mate and to establish human-created goals. All non-human animals are constrained by the tools that nature has bequeathed them through natural selection. They are not capable of striving towards truth, they simply absorb information and behave in ways useful for their survival, the kinds of knowledge they require of the world have been largely pre-selected by evolution.
progress was not entirely smooth. The South Sea bubble burst in 1720 and the coffee house exchanges burned down in 1748. As late as Big Bang in 1986, when bowler hats were finally hung up, you wouldn't have bet the farm on London surpassing New York, Frankfurt and Tokyo as Mammon's international nexus. The fruit juice, which was sometimes made with some high concentration, was ideal for making wine. Some of this yield found its way to bootleggers throughout America who did just that. But not for long, because the government stepped in and banned the sale of grape juice, preventing illegal wine production. Vineyards stopped being planted, and the American wine industry ground to a halt. In a world where the climate is changing at a rate not exceeded in the geological record, the Arctic is on the front lines, experiencing the most rapid warming of any region on the planet. Once considered remote and disconnected, now we know that changes within the Arctic can have a direct impact on the rest of the world.
the head of a prominent Latino business organization is leaving his job amid allegations of financial impropriety and sexual harassment. Late Monday, directors of the United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce announced that the group's president and chief executive, Javier Palomares, would step aside. Many families live in this apartment building. Each apartment has its own kitchen, living room, bathroom, and bedrooms. Some apartments have one bedroom and some have two bedrooms. The apartments on the first floor have a patio and the apartments on the other floors have balconies. All of them have air conditioning. Catalina coupons are printed out from a small machine located near the cash registers in grocery and drug stores. The machines are present to print coupons that correspond to specific criteria, for instance, when shoppers purchase certain products or when they buy a certain amount of products from the same manufacturer.
informal letters are friendly. They tell the reader what you did recently and what you plan to do soon. They also include interesting information about relatives and friends. Sending photos with a letter is a good idea. You have to organize what you want to say. You also have to spell the words correctly and write clear sentences. Push pins are used to hang papers on bulletin boards. They have a sharp metal point and a cylinder plastic top. Users hold the push pin by the plastic top and push the sharp metal point into the cork of a bulletin board. Push pins are popular in modern classrooms. A pair of scissors has two blades. Each blade is sharp on its inside edge. Scissors also have handles. You should always carry scissors by their handles with the points of the blades facing down. To cut a piece of paper with a pair of scissors, you grip the handles and pull them outward.
schools, government offices, post offices, and some stores remain closed on Memorial Day. Memorial Day is the start of the summer recreational season in the United States. Politicians give speeches, and the President of the United States puts a wreath on the grave of the unknowns. On Halloween, children go trick or treating. They wear costumes and masks. They walk from house to house and knock on the doors. When someone opens the door, they say trick or treat. The person gives them a piece of candy. Some people give pencils, small toys, popcorn balls, or apples. New York City is abbreviated NYC. It is nicknamed the Big Apple because of its size and the influence it has around the world. The Statue of Liberty, Wall Street, the New York Stock Exchange, the Empire State Building, and Broadway are all located in the city.
twice a year, people in the United States change the time on their clocks and watches. In spring they turn their clocks forward one hour. In fall, they turn them back one hour. The time change means that in the spring people lose an hour and in fall they gain an hour. Homeless people don't have a place to live. They sleep in parks and under freeways. Some homeless people ask strangers for money. They use this money to buy food and personal items like clothes, soap, and toothpaste. Some homeless people use the money to buy alcohol or drugs. A laptop computer is different from a desktop computer. Laptops are smaller, lighter, and sometimes they have less storage space. Laptop computers allow users to check their email, write letters, and browse the internet while they are away from their home or office. Most laptops cost from $400 to over $1,500.
Children start kindergarten when they are five years old. Kindergarten classes are three to four hours long. Students go to kindergarten Monday through Friday. Kindergarten classrooms have short tables and small chairs. They also have picture books, coloring books, crayons, thick pencils, and toys.